sorry there was no video last week. Um, things have just been a little bit crazy. Um, my dad is currently in hospital with pneumonia. He's been tested for corona and it's not corona. Sorry if the light keeps changing as well. I'm literally sitting directly under my window. Normally I sit over there but I was already sitting here doing fish stuff so I thought I would just sit here. Um, so hi. But yeah my dad is currently not very well. Um, on Wednesday last week he fell off his bike and he broke two ribs. Was it two, three? Two, two, two ribs. He has got pneumonia as a result of that. Um, he has been tested for corona twice now and he is covid free so um, he's due to be coming home later today. Um, but yeah things have just been a little bit stressful. I've been feeling really really anxious about everything. It was kind of scary for a little while when he was developing pneumonia. He kind of he went a little bit weird. He had a really high temperature and just started like talking weirdly about anyway he's doing a lot better now and hopefully he will be home before the end of today so for today's video um, I've been ready for another spawn for a while now um, I've been wanting babies for a while fish babies not actual babies although I kind of want a baby but anyway that's a different that's a different subject um, in a video a while back maybe three weeks ago now I showed you the breeding tank and where there were can you stop staring at me it's making me feel awkward. Look. Look. <laughs> Stop staring at me. It's so off-putting. Good girl. Oh, what a good girl. A few videos back, I showed you guys a tank, the breeding tank, where there were male and a female um, mating in that tank. Um, and we saw eggs dropping. All of those eggs were infertile, unfertile. There were no babies in those eggs, basically. So I'm about to start conditioning two different fish now from the ones that I tried previously. Um, and I thought I would show you guys how I condition my fish for breeding. Um, a lot of people ask me this question. A lot of people ask me how to prepare um, betters for breeding. A lot of people ask me, hey, I've got a male fish and a female fish. Can I put them together and will they make babies? Um, Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. Of course, there are many different ways of doing this. This is just what I do and what works for me and how I get successful spawns. Obviously, even if you do this, it's not guaranteed that you will get babies out of it. And sometimes betters, they just don't like each other. That sounds stupid because they're fish. Um, sometimes the eggs will be completely unfertile. Sometimes the male will get bored and decide that he's going to eat all of the eggs, which can also be a sign that they're unfertile. Um, but yeah, for the most part, this way of doing things is what has worked for me in the past. The conditioning process takes about two weeks. Um, sometimes if the, the female especially isn't looking as like plump as I would like her to be, um, I will condition them for a little bit longer. But yeah, this whole time period of two weeks or a little bit over, you're basically preparing the fish, the male and the female, for breeding. Um, I will make another video at some point of how I pick a breeding pair um, and what I look for in a breeding pair. but. In this video, I probably should do that, shouldn't I? It would probably make more sense if I did that before this, because then it would be in order. We're doing this video today, so... So the pair that I'm going to be conditioning today, or starting to condition today, is the crown tail pair, which made my first batch of crown tail babies. Um, the reason why I'm going to do this again is because I'm obsessed with the colours in the crown tail babies, and I would quite like some more. I've had a lot of interest in these babies, and yeah, I'd quite like another go at trying to get some more. Um, so the female, she's quite fat she's quite chunky and the male he's a little bit skinny at the moment he's quite small so hopefully during this conditioning process the male will chunk up a little bit so to condition better fish I prefer to put them in their own one gallon jars for this time period some people they condition them in their original tanks but I just find it easier to do it in jars because then I can actually monitor how much food they're taking and I can move them around easier for flare training. Um, so I put them in their individual jars. Um, during the conditioning process I will feed the fish three to five times a day 
very very small meals not as much as I would do if I was feeding the fish twice a day um, I feed them a mixture of different foods ranging from just dried pellets just the fluval bug bite um, I also feed them tiny tiny amounts of spawn and grow I'll show you how I do that um, and I also feed them blood worms um, tubiflex tubiflex um, I'm gonna sneeze I can feel it brewing I can feel it Ugh. I think it's gone, okay. Basically I feed them a wide range of different foods so that they're getting all of the nutrients that they need for the female to be able to produce loads and loads of healthy big eggs and for the male to have enough energy to be able to do what he's got to do. So if better is when they breed it's kind of cool, um, it's the male that actually looks after the eggs. The pair will mate, um, the female will drop her eggs and the male will tend to the eggs in his bubble nest. So he builds a bubble nest and he will look after his eggs and his babies until they are completely free swimming which is about two days after hatching. So it's really really important that the male has enough strength and energy um, to be able to look after his babies um, for for around four days is the maximum he will be in there without any food so it takes about two days for baby better eggs to hatch and it takes about two days for the fry to become free swimming during that time um, the male will be in the tank by himself and he will not have anything to eat and he will not sleep so the conditioning process for the male is really to help them build up that stamina to be able to do that and for the females it's more about them um, being able to produce really big healthy eggs before the breeding process. At the moment the male he's a little bit smaller than the female so during this conditioning process I'm really going to be trying to like bulk him up a little bit so that he's big enough to wrap around the female. Um, so for a little while I might actually feed him a little bit more than I'm feeding the female just so she doesn't get too big for him basically. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, for around 20 minutes a day, sometimes a little bit longer, I will let the pair not see each other, but I will let them see another fish of the opposite sex. So I will put the female in front of a male, and I'll put the male in front of a female, and I will give them a little bit of time to flare, just to get them used to doing that kind of behaviour in the breeding tank, because that is what they do before they mate um, and it's also to build up the male stamina so that he actually has the energy to go chasing the female round the breeding tank as well as building his nest and then tending to his eggs and fry so um, yeah the male has got a really big job once breeding starts and the female her job is kind of over pretty quickly after she's dropped all of her eggs and they stop spawning um, I then remove her from the tank um, these are the jars that the fish are going to be going into there's some crown tails in a very messy tank that needs to be cleaned out today that isn't actually their poo I put some ram's horn snails in there it's the ram horn snails poo um, so anyway in here jars safe a teeny tiny little bit of salt and um, the fish I'm actually going to grab them out of their tank with my hand um, because I just think it's less stressful and I, I can catch them better in my hand. <laughs> so let me just grab the female. Hello missus, gotcha. There she goes, it will take her a little while to get used to it. Ignore my toes. And the male. There he is. There. So let me give you guys a little bit of a close up on the actual fish. She is a koi, would you call her a koi? She's more of a marble really isn't she? Um, she's a marble crown tail and she's gorgeous. And the male, hello there sir. He's getting a little bit stressed out in his job, he has just been put in. Um, but he is again a koi marble. Um, and he is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour, and he is a double-double crown tail. His 
fins are looking a little bit tatty at the back actually. Um, he still has some damage from the first time that he was bred. Um, she took a massive chunk out of his tail and it's still kind of regrowing. Um, and also he's a little bit stressed in here at the moment. So he's kind of clamped all of his fins together. Um, but during the conditioning process that will all get sorted out and he will be fine. Guys, here are your babies. Can you see, can you see your babies? I don't know, but you guys can see my messy bedroom. Anyway. Okay, I've just put some Indian almond leaves in here. Um, it's actually one that I've just broken up into little pieces. Um, but these Indian almond leaves were actually so, so good. I got them on Amazon. Um, I don't, I think they came from Thailand. But honestly, they leach out so much of the brown colour liquid. Um, come on puppy. Can you jump down? Good girl, and thank you. Yep, just, yep, great. Um, as I'm filming, and for their first feed, um, I'm just gonna give them some fluval bug bites. There you go, missus. Yum, yum, yum. And there you go, sir. He's freaking out a little bit, bless him. He'll be all right in a minute. I'm gonna put these on the shelf, and I'm gonna card them so they can't see each other. Um, and I'm going to put the date on here of when I started conditioning. But yeah, this is their conditioning setup and they will stay like this for a good few weeks. So enjoy your new home. Um, I might actually put a moss ball in each as well. It's now the next day, although you wouldn't know it because Elsa is literally sitting in exactly the same place. Um, although we've got the window open. Um, yeah, this is where Elsa sits. The lighting's gone really weird. Anyway, I thought I would show you how I feed Rapashi Spawn and Grow to um, betters like, that are single, um, like by themselves. Spawn and Grow, it's a gel food, so once it's mixed up, it's like this. Um, so obviously you can't put all of this into a fish's tank, bowl, whatever they are in, um, because this would just majorly pollute all of the water and it wouldn't get eaten. Elsa is trying to climb out the window. Can you not? You can you can stay there. Okay, don't go any further. So I'm gonna use this to feed the um pair that I'm conditioning and the rest I'm going to put in the um baby ground tail spawn um and show you guys how they're getting on because some of their colours are absolutely beautiful at the moment. There is a completely platinum white one and she's absolutely gorgeous. So when I've got one fish that I want to feed I mix up a whole batch of spawn and grow um, and I get a pipette and I will take out a chunk of this like yeah. this is kind of hard to do with one hand right and literally that is how much one fish will get. Pretty lady come here It's falling. Don't let it fall. Okay, she's got it. Right. Some fish they won't. Some fish they won't go down if, um, like, their food goes on the floor. But she's happy to eat it off the floor. So I'm going to put that in there. There we go. As you can see, his fins are a lot more spread out now. He's a lot more chilled. Um, and let's try and feed him as well. Go on, mister. You gonna go for it? Okay, I'm gonna put the rest in as well. And he will eat that. Um, any uneaten food will have to be taken out, but the jars need to be changed every single day. So, um, yeah, that water will get changed today. I didn't manage to clean out the tank yesterday, so ignore all the crap on the bottom. Um, but here are the babies. They are... I never know how old they are because I didn't write their date on the tank like I normally do. Um, I think they are two and a half weeks, no, not weeks, months old now. Um, this one is still the biggest one. 
Um, this one's probably nearly ready to be sold, to be honest. Um, but I want his fins to grow out a little bit more so I can actually see what he is. Um, ignore the stuff behind the tank as well. I'm painting, so there's paint there. Anyway, um, I really, really like this grey one. Grey and yellow. He's kind of like a mustardy gas kind of thing. Um, where is the white platinum one? Oh, 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 there. Real cute. Anyway, I'm going to pop this out and it's going to break apart now. But they can eat this. Come on. There we go. Oh god, that has made such a mess. I don't think it was set properly, but anyway. As soon as they're like done eating and I see all of their big round tummies, I am going to do a really big water change on this tank because they need it because the bottom of the tank looks absolutely disgusting but when you're heavily feeding that's what happens um, but yeah they absolutely love spawn and grow they love it there's the crown tail babies and that's pretty much the setup for how I condition betters for breeding um, I'll keep you guys updated on how this conditioning goes um, and hopefully we'll get some babies um, because these crown towers are absolutely gorgeous so I would like some more because they're just so beautiful <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video I really do hope that you found it useful if you are about to start breeding or if you were just kind of curious to see how I condition my fish subscribe if you are not already follow me on Instagram um, links, everything down below and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Bye guys.